it looks like Jay Prince should have just sat there and ate his food instead of getting involved with the Drake and Kendrick drama because he is getting dragged for filth over all of it. He has been running the streets of Houston, Texas for a long, long time, but the moment he got involved in this drama, people who knew his secret activities have been dragging him for filth and exposing him for working as a handler for Hollywood elites. There are now reports that he has allegedly been unaliving rappers on orders of some very powerful people, and schoolboy Q is more than willing to spill the tea, and he brought some hard evidence to back his claims. Y'all need to get in on this drama real quick, because it's about to be a crazy hot mess. Okay, so y'all remember how schoolboy Q pulled up to Houston this month, right? Well, it turns out that he was there for more than just a performance, because he made a crazy power move right in Jay Prince Jr.'s face. He dragged the whole checking in thing that Jay Prince demands from rappers visiting Houston, dragging it as the outdated joke it is. And let's be real, he's kinda got a point. Now, for some reason, Jay Prince is still out here playing these street games, trying to extort cash from his own people. But according to Schoolboy Q, it allegedly goes beyond just extortion because word in the streets is that this little scheme might have even cost some lives. But let's rewind for a minute. Y'all might think that the origins of this extortion game just started with rap and hip hop, but it goes way deeper than that. We can trace it all the way back to the 18th century Italy, where the mafia were the OGs of the pay up or face the consequences hustle. And when they made their way to the US, cities like Chicago, New York, and Philly were caught in their grip, trembling at their demands. Of course, American street gangs and organized crime rings picked up on the playbook, and before long, extortion became a dark thread woven into hip hop culture. With rap money flowing in, these groups wanted their piece of the pie, and extortion is practically ingrained in hip hop's fabric today. Because, I mean, everybody be checking in. That's y'all favorite thing to do, check in with somebody that's gonna rob your stupid ass. Mm. Wow. Yo, you think that guy, he, yo, the guy that you don't know, in uh, California got your back. The guy that got beef with other hoods and all this, you checking in to that dude? The checking in part, you know, is uh, they seem to get hung up on that word yeah. checking in. Yeah. So, so if we would could diversify that that word and bring it up to a twenty twenty one thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> What's the word, OG? Maybe, What's the word? Hello. Maybe we maybe we may want to tell them they they need to get connected. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know the name? Yeah. Maybe that's the proper word, connected, properly connected. It's a fictitious name. They're not a mob. Uh, mob ties is like uh, the white boy from Malibu Most Wanted. Jay Prince Jr. and his son, they, 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 they like Malibu from Most Wanted. They're not no real gangsters. So there's been so much buzz lately about the whole checking in drama and extortion. So there's been so much buzz lately about the whole checking in drama and extortion in hip hop, especially with the rumors swirling around Drake and his longtime Houston protector slash alleged extortion kingpin, Jay Prince. And word on the street is that Jay Prince might have abandoned Drake. So get this, Drake apparently tried to ban all rap artists linked to Kendrick Lamar from performing in Houston, thinking his daddy, Jay Prince, would have his back. But then schoolboy Q stepped in, making it crystal clear that he's not scared of Drake's so-called mob ties. And earlier this month, he performed in Houston in front of a huge crowd, but schoolboy didn't stop there. He also called the whole checking in thing goofy and downright embarrassing, especially for someone as seasoned as Jay Prince, who's still playing these childish street games and trying to extort his own people. So what's really going on with Jay Prince and this extortion saga? Who has he tried to shake down and has it led to any tragic outcomes for rappers who stood up to him? Let's break it down. Why do you want to go over there? Right. For what? Right. Don't call me. Right. Oh, it's a right. be having a nerd to call me sometime. Like, right. <laughs> uh, like, like, what are you talking about, bro? I'm playing video games. My daughter got a soccer game tomorrow, bro. Bro, the f up. Okay, so let's first talk about this extortion business and how it became part of the hip hop culture. The roots of extortion crime groups stretch way back to 18th century Italy when the local mafia would send letters to business owners threatening or property damage unless they forked over protection money. Fast forward to when the mafia hit America and extortion took root in the inner cities. Chicago, New York, Philly, these places were practically shaking with fear thanks to regular mafia shakedowns. Naturally, other street gangs and organized crime groups adopted these shady tactics. With hip hop bringing in the big bucks. Get your motherfucking ass up, Jay Prince Jr. You known for beating up stripper bitches and taking pussy when you're drunk after club hours, nigga, during the after hours time. Stop talking like y'all the mob. I'm sick of you, nigga. 
You ain't no goddamn mob, James. They need to put you in the feds, nigga. Jay Prince needs to go to federal prison. And his sons need to go too, nigga. I'm stuck on you niggas playing like y'all the mob, nigga. I'll put a case on all you niggas, Prince. I don't give a, give a fuck about nothing street, nigga. Street rules, street ties, street organizations, street principles. I don't give a fuck about nothing street, nigga. I'm law abiding. I love law. I'm a police calling ass nigga, man. And I love to be the nigga to put rap a lot rappers James Prince in jail, nigga. Threaten me like you talk to Quavo and take off men, nigga. I don't need, I ain't never need your protection, nigga. And I and I'll be in Houston on the 17th, nigga. I ain't never needed none of you nigga protection. That's what the law is for. 911, I'm scared. I need help, Mr. Police. Fuck you talking about I'm gonna call a weak ass rap mogul for. You a rap mogul, nigga. You ain't a boss. You a, you the CEO a rap a lot. Stop living in this fairy tale world, James Prince, like y'all the mob. You ain't no goddamn mob.